Thanks to all of our sponsors for making our Computex 2024 coverage possible. Hey guys, we're here with Thermal Grizzly at Computex 2024, and uh, we all know who Thermal Grizzly are. We know that they make some of the greatest and kind of more unique products on the market, but really, really handy for enthusiasts, pro overclockers. So starting down this end, we have got the direct die solutions, the contact frame. Everyone knows what these are. We are gonna sort of, you know, show this on camera, but really we wanna focus on the new stuff at the show. So everyone probably already knows what cryo sheet is. It is an alternative to thermal paste. And I guess they've just wanted to try and find another solution that's very, very similar to it, but kind of bring that price point down a little bit. So that's where the phase sheet PTM comes in. So this essentially is a thermal pad. It's electrically non-conductive. Uh, it's also, you know, great for people who maybe don't know how to apply thermal paste and want a really simple, easy solution. You know what it's like? You're a new user, you don't really know too much about computers, you go online and how do I apply thermal paste? One YouTuber or one website will say, oh, you do the P method or you do the line method, you do the sort of cross method, the Union Jack method, there's so many different methods. And then you're kind of, you walk away from it just going, well, okay, I've just taken all this information in, I still don't know any more about what I need to do. That's where a sheet comes in. A sheet is literally, you can get it in different sizes and it's just a matter of putting it on your CPU and away you go. Now, the thing with the phase sheet and how it compares to kind of the cryo sheet is it actually turns into a liquid after the first use. So uh, you're, you're essentially putting it on top of your CPU and then it's ready to go. It's gonna make the very best contact with the CPU and the very best contact with the CPU cooler. So a really, really kind of, you know, good idea. Um, compared to the cryo sheet, um, you can go onto obviously uh, Thermal Grizzly's website, you can look at the pricing, but the phase sheet is gonna come in a little bit cheaper. So uh, that's kind of the goal behind this. They've just tried to find a solution that's very, very similar. Instead of using graphene, um, they are using just like a, a normal adhesive thermal pad. It's gonna be great for GPUs as well, which obviously the GPU die, the core itself, does come in different sort of shapes and sizes, depending on if you're looking at AMD or an NVIDIA graphics card. And again, you're gonna have something that is gonna be that perfect fit for actually putting it onto the core itself. Now, another thing I do wanna talk about, kind of not under the Thermal Grizzly brand, but this is a new brand called Polar Therm, which sits under kind of Thermal Grizzly. This is their, uh, their way of, you know, essentially making thermal paste. So we've got Polar Therm, we've got the X8 over one side, and then we've got the X10. So the X8 is ever so slightly cheaper. Uh, but the, the beauty of this is what they've actually managed to do with Polar Therm is kind of offer a much better value proposition compared to uh, competitor products on the market. So when you look at the price and how many grams you actually get, Polar Firm have actually managed to get their products a little bit cheaper, but also offer you more of the actual paste itself. So uh, it's gonna be really interesting to see, you know, when we get these in our offices, to see kind of how they do compare against, you know, some of the big competitors on the market, talking about Arctic, talking about Noctua. But uh, from what they've told us, the performance is really, really good. It's really up there. And like I say, if it's cheaper, then I'm all for it because a better product and a cheaper product, what's not to love about that? Now, this is the star of the show. This right here is the Wireview Pro. So what we have here is an improvement over uh, the existing product. What it essentially allows you to do, and they have got a system here sort of showcasing what it's actually doing is, well, we all know that there were problems with a 12V8 PWR connector when it came out from NVIDIA. The problems that kind of we had were, you know, the cables melting, and a lot of that came down to the fact that people weren't actually fully inserting the cable. Now we have some brands on the market like MSI who have actually colored the end of the cable, um, so or the end of the connector so you can see it fully inserted, but not everyone's gonna go with an MSI product. So then what do you do? How do you know that your cable is fully inserted and it's not gonna short, it's not gonna overheat? That's where the Wireview Pro comes in. So if you actually look at it, you can see there is a, a little thermistor cable on there as well. So it is measuring the heat. It has got the little display on there, so it tells you what the temperature is. And you can actually set within the temperature um, some kind of an alarm. Now, I believe it's between 60 to 100 or 105 degrees. You can set exactly what temperature you want it to be. And then if it gets to that point, it will actually do a, an audible alarm. Now, what that allows you to do is quick, there's clearly an issue, shut the system down. 
Now, average consumer, this is obviously going to be an issue, but for us as reviewers, where we're constantly in and out with graphics cards, plugging in, taking out, plugging in, taking out, sometimes, yeah, you might just miss it and not quite get it in there. So this is going to tell you if the cable isn't connected properly. It's going to tell you if the cable is overheating. Such a simple design, such a simple kind of product, but it really, really does make a difference. So uh, like I say, it's got all the measurements and uh, recordings of the power consumption. So we can see right now, the cable, the connector is actually sitting at 44 degrees. And it will just kind of uh, cycle through. So you can see the minimum and the maximum power and what it's actually been pulling. These are all you know vital pieces of information, especially if you're not just a, a normal enthusiast user, but if you're overclocking as well. You know, if you want to push more power through the connector, more power to the graphics card, you want to know how much power you're actually pulling. Yes, there are products on the market that can do the same thing, but generally they are much, much more expensive. So this is the star of the show. This is what Thermal Grizzly are showing. They've got some great products here, and we're going to be working a lot more with them in the very, very near future. So uh, let us know in the comments section. What do you think about this? Have you had any problems with a 12VHPWR connector? Because this is going to solve so many problems and could save your graphics card. We actually like the Wireview Pro so much that we ended up giving it our 2024 Best of Computex Award. So there we have it. This is everything we've got to see from Thermal Grizzly. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, you know exactly what to do. And remember, we've got a lot more Computex coverage from here in Taipei. And I'll see you in the next one. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.